Hey guys, it is Nick here, back with another Nick's Topics What If Walking Dead topic video for today. And today, we are going to be looking at a topic regarding the first season of The Walking Dead and something that could have definitely ended our hero's story a lot sooner and just possibly ruin The Walking Dead in general. And that topic is... What if Rick's group had died at the CDC with the explosion? Now, like I said, this would be like the worst case scenario for our group, leaving the rest of the story pretty much blank and meaningless if this did occur, if everyone did die. But let's dive in. So the explosion at the CDC happens and Rick's group is gone out of the story, which means Herschel's farm would be completely defenseless, either with the horde coming in or just the zombies that they kept bringing into the farm or Randall's group eventually. So they're dead either way. The governor's place, Woodbury, honestly, with Penny still around, they would honestly just keep expanding, honestly. Maybe even confront the saviors or terminus. So yeah, it could go any of those ways, honestly. Now with Abraham, Eugene, and Rosita, they would honestly still be on their path to Washington. And here's what I think could happen. A few scenarios. They make it there. Eugene opens up about the lie. Abraham attacks him, and Rosita's the only one there to defend. Eugene possibly gets himself killed. Scenario two, before they get to Washington, they get themselves killed by a huge number of zombies, and the story's over for them and there. Scenario three is that they end up with another group, and they try to get them to go to Washington and just end up with them in general. Yeah, like I said, it could go many a ways. Now, here is the biggest and most important aspect to the story. Without Rick's group having any influence, Alexandria would ultimately either be destroyed by the wolves or taken by Negan and the Saviors. And with no one to protect the communities, Negan and the Saviors would honestly keep control over all communities. Even striving out eventually to possibly find new communities. Like maybe Commonwealth, Reapers, um, Alpha and the Whisperers would still be a threat. And like I've said in many Negan stories, that could go a million different ways. It's a bunch of loopholes and I honestly, um, it would take way too much time to explain, you know? It's sort of like what ifs in a what if. And that would take far too long for an explanation. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much the wrap up of the story. Now I know this is one of my shorter what ifs. I usually don't make videos this short unless we're talking about like my what if Negan killed Maggie or like what if um, Negan and the governor met. But it just depends on source material and just like, yeah, how it would, how it would affect the story. And with Rick's group dying at season one, nothing major would happen. The, the, the goal of the story, the character development, everything would just be useless. It would just be plain old and boring and end in one season. Definitely probably one of the worst case scenarios, if not the most worst case scenario for Rick and his group. What do you guys think? You think something different might have happened? How do you think it would have impacted the story had Rick's group died at the CDC? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more on this channel. And recommend what ifs in the comments. I love to see a bunch of what ifs recommended and look to them in the future. Anyways, that's going to do it. See you guys later.